Magbe Mommy, joy. Eh, Peace be unto this house. Peace be to the person. Ah, ah, ah. Mrs. James. Hey, hey. Ah. When did you move to this area? Ah, well, God, dream. What are you doing here? Ah. Hey, we are on house house evangelism. So I was posted to this area. But let's put that aside. What is this you are doing? You mean this? Yes, I mean this. What is this? This is Asejaje. Asejaje? For what and why? You know I sell in the market. <laughs> I know you sell in the market. So what? Don't you know this is the filing? <laughs> the filing? Yes, it is the filing. Hey, show about God doing. All my she no thing now. Eba mi so fun mo ti wi to mo ti pa to sugbon ko ni gboran. Be si na ko gbodo na yawo wa, o ta ko eko ton fi yin wa si ku alagba. Let me hear what jare. What is the filing? Is it what goes in from the mouth to the belly? What does that even mean? What are you saying? E she o eba mi so fun. In kan yo kan ton tenu mo ni yen. You don't understand the Bible. What are God doing? Let me take you to push him down ministry. If we have so spiritual seed among you, is it too much if we reap a material harvest from you? Mm, 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 mm. Harvest. Ah, Good harvest. afternoon, sir, evangelist. Ah, ah, ah. Mrs. James, yes, you are welcome. Thank you, sir. Good afternoon. Please sit down. Thank sit you, down. Sit down. Hey. You are welcome. Thank you, sir. Oh, my children. Fine, sir. I'm coming. Yes, sir. If others have this right of support from you, ah, that they should. Do you also drink? Uh, you mean this one? Yes, sir. Ah, of course, I. Ah. You see? I do it uh, once in a while, you know, if I don't do it once in a while, the spirit will not flow. You see, um, should we... What is against the word of God? You mean this? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. James, you will not, you will not cease to amaze me. This is against the word of God. Hey, you this baby Christian. When will you come to the understanding of the word of God? You see, when we 
tell you to come for Bible study. You will not come. You'll be claiming you are the Yalaji. Sunday school, you will come late. How will you understand simple thing like this? Okay. I don't know why you came, but um, let, um, let me educate you first. At least, this will be a bonus to you. There is a Bible here. Open to Matthew 15 and 11. What does the Bible say? Mm. Matthew 15 and 11. What into a man's mouth does not make him unclean. Uh -huh. But what comes out of his mouth, that is what makes him unclean. Uh -huh. You guys see? It is not what goes into the mouth of a man. <sighs> that defies him. But what comes out of man's mouth? That is what the Bible says. You see, as a Christian, what goes into your mouth does not defile you. But what comes out of your mouth as a Christian, you can drink anything, eat anything, but you cannot do any how. Mm. You see, this does not define anybody. Uh, not what goes into man's mouth that defies him or corrupting. But what comes from the, from, you know, uh -huh. that is it. Ah! They won't talk. Evangelist dot. When will you stop deceiving the people of God? Hmm. Be sober. Be vigilant. For the adversary, your enemy, like a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. Mrs. James, that is not what the Bible says. Let us open the Bible to. <coughs> Uh, the book of First Peter, chapter 1, verse 15 and 16. Let us see what the Bible says. First huh. Peter, chapter 1, verse 15 and 16. But as he which hath called you is holy, so be ye holy in all manner of conversation, because it is written, be ye holy, for I am holy. There is no holiness in this. Jesus was not talking about the just, just the purity of the bowel. He was talking to the Pharisees about the inner purity. Daniel chapter 1 verse 8 says, And Daniel will not defile himself with the king's meat. Even when it was a legal meal, he will not defile himself with that meal. This is a defilement. Let me ask you this question. Did you find this in the Bible? Is this scriptural? No. I found it in my father's account book. You see? Can this draw you closer to God? Hmm... You don't need to pretend. This will only get you farther away from God. And whatever gets you far away from God, it's a defilement. Just defiling. <coughs> oh. Mrs. James, Mrs. James, you don't need that. See, what you need now is to plead for forgiveness. You plead the blood of Jesus to purify you. And you don't ever go back to this again.